Welcome to this episode of Video Drill by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to try flying on this freighter. We had a couple technical issues, but we're going to fly out that way and see if we can't capture some video. And just kind of get out that way. And we've got all kinds of people standing over there, so let's yaw it back. We'll catch some video as this guy goes down lake. So that's a tug pushing it. I want to try to get some more, a little bit more altitude on this as it goes down and catches it, catch it as it travels down lake. So it's entering the mouth of the St. Clair River right now as it heads down. And we're up about 100 feet, so we'll get, we'll get some good views of it uh, entering down below the Blue Water Bridge and kind of passing out of our sight a little bit. So, uh, this, this is a sort of a barge with a tug configuration, so you can see the tug in the back pushing the barge. It sort of mates with this, so that's a self-unloader, so that's an ore freighter, so carrying limestone, iron ores, something like that. So uh, that's uh, heading down lake right now, so again, we're getting some pretty good views. We just kind of hang in there. In the foreground, we have a little bit of the uh, Fort Gratiot Lighthouse. So. Uh, Again, not bad views out here today. It's a little bit overcast. It was sprinkling a little bit earlier, but, uh, you know, cleared up pretty nicely. So, again, uh, getting some pretty good views as it's going down lake. So I'm just kind of hanging tight on it a little bit because I want to catch some video as it uh, kind of crosses down. I don't want the jerkiness of the yaw in there because uh, I'm going to try saving some of this for some B-roll footage as people are playing on a rainy day on the beach with their kid in mid-October, which always surprises me. But uh, anyways, we're kind of watching it just settle back down in. So we've got another ocean-going freighter coming back up here. So I'll tell you what, we're going to, we still got some pretty good battery life left. Let's go back around and try to catch this guy uh, for, for two for. And uh, we're just sitting right up there. So let's head out. Let's, uh head out on this guy. Now this is an ocean freighter. Uh, it's actually uh, carrying a pilot. The pilot boat actually came out and uh, had uh, dropped a pilot off for this guy. So I'm just kind of keeping an eye on things. We got a fishing boat out there in the foreground. Had a little bit of sniffles of it getting over a coal so I want to bring this back around as we sort of fly out to it. And uh, battery's still looking pretty good. So again, we got it sitting out there. She's not actually too far out. So because we're only actually out about 300 or so feet with the copter. And we're up about 107. So again, I'm just going to kind of keep going and taking it out there. And we're just kind of going on out there. And we're out there about 500 feet or so. And bring it kind of in. You can see the buoys here. So he's getting ready to enter the lake. So you can see those green buoys. We've flown on those before. That marks uh, the shipping channel. So he's heading into the shipping channel. And I'm just going to kind of keep pushing, pushing out that way. Because I'm still doing pretty good on battery. And if need be, I can kick her up to sport mode to bring her back. And it's starting to drizzle a little bit out here now, so uh, this will probably be the last flight I get out here today. I want to get this guy in the frame. Just beautiful imagery as it cuts cuts through the uh, cuts through the the uh, buoys. And he's moving at a pretty good clip. I'm not sure what kind of freighter he is or what he's carrying. Um, outside that, he is a uh, Ocean goer. He, typically, I think they call them St. Lawrencers or St. Lawrence because they come in through the St. Lawrence Seaway into the Great Lakes, and uh, so he's coming down. But I'm not sure where he's coming from because he looks like some kind of ore freighter from above. So he's just coming down lake like the other guy. So we got a good, pretty good perspective on him. This is uh, pretty good, so because I'm, I'm still pushing it out towards him. 
So I'm still closing on them. I'm now out there about a thousand feet, so I need to be a little bit careful. I'm only going to chase them out to around a thousand feet. Uh, it's interesting. Hopefully I'm getting it. I got quite the arc on uh, the uh, map there as I'm kind of chasing him back around. So I'm going to actually hold right about there because I'm going to need I'm going to need some battery to make it back in. So I'm not going to chase him too much further. I'm going to try to get some angles so I uh, capture some downward picture or picture video of him uh, crossing the bridge. Um, I'm at about six minutes, so I got a little bit of battery left to make it on the way back. And so he's going down the bridge. And we're catching him. Going down as the battery's counting down. And it's just drifting down out underneath the bridge. And he's going out. I still got a few more minutes. I still got a few more minutes on battery, so that's looking pretty good. So it's just hanging out. I'm kind of surprised how the battery's uh, actually doing. So I had a little flash of signal there. So we're getting them going down. I really like the, the overcast look is pretty nice. So we're coming down to low battery. I want to try to get a few more minutes at least as this ticks down before I bring them back. Uh, kind of catch it crossing down there. And uh, there's another one up there, but I don't think we're going to have time to catch him as he comes down. So cause, uh, a little bit of rain today. And he's just ticking down. And again, uh, this is kind of a beautiful October, too. It's a little bit overcast, and it was been drizzly today. But, uh, you know, actually nothing that terrible. So I tried doing some flights earlier. Didn't get really a lot of flight time in today. A lot of technical issues, uh, surprisingly. So uh, yeah, anyways, kids and parents and their kids, I tell you. So... Uh, I'm coming down to low battery. He's crossing underneath the bridge. I'm going to let it hit low battery. Then I'm going to hit, uh, as soon as it hits low battery, I'm going to hit return to home because I'm going to kick this guy up to sport mode. Um, I think I can cover a thousand feet pretty quick because, again, I want to get as much as I can. So he's crossing underneath. Yeah, I should still be good. I'm going to keep keep it rolling yet. And I think when I hit about four minutes on the clock there, then, uh, so we're into low battery state. So I'm going to click it up to sport mode. And I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to bring this guy home. So I'm swiping the home. So this thing should come back a bit like a bat out of HE double hockey sticks, if you will. So, uh, so yeah, it's coming back at about 22 miles per hour. So it's closing the distance super fast. And uh, starting to slow down because it's hitting about uh, 200 feet. So it's almost home already. That's freaking amazing. And there it is right above us. So she's starting to come down now, and that's a good thing, just making sure everything's clear. I'm going to save off the video now and just let it come down on its own. And here it comes, just making sure it's clear. Had a lot of people out here. It just kind of amazes me on a rainy day, people bring their kids out in the rain to play on the beach in cold weather. I don't know what that says about parents, but uh, okay. All right, so here we go. We're coming back down. I'm going to back them up a little bit more. And 
and uh, I want to bring them over to a little bit of a flat spot I had prepared earlier. I cleaned off a piece of the sand uh, for the takeoff. And so let's set it down on that wet sand. And there we go. So we're down on the sand. We've had another good flight on Lake Huron. We've caught uh, a ship out there. We've flown on it. And hey, it's a great day. So let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. Get, make sure you hit that uh, like button, subscribe, share these with your friends. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking. And hey, we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.